Hi guys, Michelle Wright here with the CowWhispersCreativeCards.com and welcome to Craft Until the Cows Come Home, our Facebook Live that we do every Tuesday night right here at 7 o'clock Central Time. Uh, as always, if in the top left hand corner you see a red live box, which I'm looking over here to see if it's on, that means that we are live. And I appreciate all the comments, hearts, thumbs up, share, share, share. Um, I'll give you hugs and kisses in advance for all the shares. That's how I build my business and I really, really appreciate it. So I'm waiting just a few seconds here for everybody to jump on. Tonight we are going to be playing with brush -os. So if you haven't seen the brush -os in action, that's what we're going to be playing with tonight. I'm really excited. Um, if you jump on, say hi. Hi Nancy. Hi Angie. A uh, couple of things I want to mention real quick. Um, if it doesn't say live and you're watching the replay, that's great. Leave a comment. I comment on and read every single comment that is uh, put on any of my pages. So uh, let me know what you think of what we're doing. Let's see who else is getting on. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Barb. All right. Okay, you guys few uh, housekeeping things before we get started. I have just uh, set up my newsletter. So I want everyone to make sure you get over on my blog and on the right hand side, there's a box and it says subscribe to my newsletter. That is a different subscription than the blog post that you receive. So if you've subscribed and you're getting uh, emails with my blog post every day, that's great. But if you want to receive my newsletter every Wednesday, you need to subscribe for that too. It's set up that uh, when you go onto my blog, a box will pop up and you can put your information in there. But if it doesn't, over on the right hand side, on, and there's a column and you can subscribe there. So what are my newsletters about? They're just the hot topics of what's going on in the week. The reason they're going out on Wednesday is on Tuesday, Stampin' Up! gives us all the hot deals, all the information that we need to know, and I'm just trying to pass that on. I don't want you guys to miss anything. They're, you know me, I'm short, sweet, to the point, don't want to waste your time, and uh, I want you to have the information, though. That's vital to me that you have the information, so you will be getting those every Wednesday morning. So if you have not already signed up for my newsletter and subscribe to my blog just to receive my blog post, please jump over there and do that. Let me see who else has got on here. Hi, Cindy. Okay, a couple other things real quick. It's not too late if you want to join my celebration. Celebration is in full swing. If you want to join my celebration club, what you're committing to is three months uh, that you will purchase $100 each month, which means you earn two of the $50 celebration items out of the celebration catalog or one of the $100 items. So for three months, what would happen at the end of that three months is you will also, also tongue tied, receive an additional $61 in items. So you spend $300 of any items that you want to spend your $300 on, $100 a month, you will receive up to six additional items out of the celebration catalog. Okay, let me say that again, up to six items because you can choose two fifties or one 100 and you can, you know, each month you can do it different. So that doesn't matter. And then on top of that, you're going to get to select an additional $61 worth of items. So it's a slamming deal. I hope everyone takes advantage of that. I've got a link at the top of this video that will take you right to it, explains it all to you and tells you what to do, how to send me an email and we'll get you hooked up from there. The other thing is, um, Tomorrow, Wednesday, the new uh, Partners Across the Pond online video class will be coming out, and it's on the Sure Do Love Me bundle, and it's a class that I actually designed, and I'm teaching that class. So I will always uh, hit those in the newsletter that you receive. It'll have a picture and what's included. And I want to tell you this, because I don't know if people are confused. On the picture here, where we do a sneak peek of what it is, what you're actually purchasing in this kit, on the brush -o kit, is you're purchasing the brush -os, you're purchasing the Beautiful Day stamp set, which we're going to be using tonight, you're going to be purchasing the Aqua Painters and the Spritzer, okay? 
if you have any of those items and you do not need those items, you can substitute those items or something else for those items of equal dollar value or more, okay? What you are receiving at no charge are all the paper products, cut to size, the embellishments, everything to make all the items in the video. In the videos, you're making usually six cards, three designs, two cards of each. Uh, but I will tell you in my uh, class tomorrow, you're making four cards, so two card designs, two of each, and two boxes, okay? And then, of course, you get the envelopes that come with it, and you will get one uh, page of dimensionals also at no charge. There's a very slight couple bucks upcharge for the shipping from me to you to your house, but other than that, Everything that's coming from Stampin' Up, that's the $6.95 shipping. That's what Stampin' Up charges. It's coming straight to your house. The kit that I put together with all the paper supplies is coming from me. So that's the only extra little bit of charge that you're going to see in there. So I hope that makes sense. And now get ready because we're going to play with some brush shows. Let me look and see if anybody has any questions. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Frenchie. Okay, I'm going to flip you down and around. Oh, let me tell you this. I've got it on autofocus tonight. I'm back to my Logitech's webcam. And remember in the beginning when it was pulsing, I decided, I figured out tonight, that's because of the extra lights I have. So no extra lights on. I'm just going to flip you down and around. Hopefully there will be no pulsating. And it's all going to work out wonderfully. Okay? That is our goal. Get my cord up now the way because this way at least I can see comments. Whoops. Let's pull you up just a little. Once we get situated, we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right. Okay. See, that's not so bad. Hi, Elizabeth. Okay, you guys. What we're going to be playing with tonight is our new Brusho Crystal Colors, okay? Now, you guys know I have severe OCD, and I've been playing with them all day. I've played with them before, and I'm actually, I'm starting to have a lot of fun with them because some of us have a hard time thinking outside the box, but you use these just like you would any other kind of watercolor item. You're not looking for perfection. This is all about abstract and the difference that you're going to receive. And you will see tonight when we use the uh, brush out is the colors are so vibrant. Look at that. They are absolutely gorgeous. All right. Now, when you get your brush out, they're going to come in this box. And there's five of them. All right. You've got Brilliant Red, Moss Green, Gamboge, Yellow, and Blue. All right, that's the way they come. Your first instinct is going to be to pop this open. Do not do this. This is super, super fine powder, okay? So what you want to do is get you a push pin. And you're just going to take your push pin and just stick it through the middle of it. Just that simple. And please note that my OCD, so I wouldn't have to look. Blue has a blue push, push pin yellow. The Gambrose is more of an orangey yellow. The Moss Green has a kind of a green yellow. And then you've got your Brilliant Red. Okay? So don't feel limited by the colors that you see here because remember your color will. Red and green, I mean red and blue are going to make purple. You see what I'm saying? You can take yellow and blue and make a different color green. So you've got lots of color combinations here that you can make with your brush shows. All right, so let's set that over there for a minute. Now, let me tell you, I've practiced on some different papers. I practiced and played around with watercolor paper, which is what we're doing tonight. The kit if you order the brush show kit, it comes with Whisper White paper, the thick Whisper White, and it works good on that. Look what I made here. I made this, and you've got to let it dry. 
because when I first did it, I was like, um, but look at that. Let me see if I can get it up here and it'll focus. Focus camera. And I used to cut out these three hearts because Valentine's is coming. The sweet and sassy dies, which you get 15 dies in this set. So I want to make sure and show you guys that if you don't have it, why not? You need it. Okay. So I did that. And after I punched those out, looky, looky, I've got three awesome looking hearts that I can use for something else. Okay. Totally abstract, but really, really cool. So that's one way you can use it. Okay. That's on watercolor paper. Here's a different one that I did. This is on our glossy paper. And this is our new, uh, that egg is so cute. It's out of this Happy Easter set that's available now in the Occasions catalog. So I use this, and then I use this little flower and went around because it's going to be different every single time. You're not going to know what colors are going to be the most vibrant. So after I let it dry, you've got to let it dry. I had a lot of these yellowy green, so I went in with my lemon lime twist and my Pacific Point and did the backing. And I love this ribbon too. Let me show you that ribbon real quick. That's our new, hold on, let me tell you the name of it. Mini striped ribbon, lemon lime twist out of the new occasions catalog. But isn't it cute? Cute, cute, cute. So that's two ways to do it. So what I did was I misted these papers with my spritzer and then I went in and I sprinkled my brush o on it and let it do its thing and let it set. So we're going to do that right off the bat, but then we're going to set it aside so it can dry because if you blot it, it's not going to be as vibrant. So let's set our brushes over here so you guys can see them. Now I will tell you that Let's get my cute cards out of the way. I don't want to mess those up. I will tell you that this is a little messier and your paper is going to want to tend to curl. So I've just taken a craft mat and taken regular frog tape, painter's tape, and I just placed it down and that's going to hold that in place. So right off the bat, I'm going to bring in my spritzer. And then I'm just going to spritz ample amount of water on it, okay? All right. Now, I'm telling you this takes a micro amount. Hi, Barb. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Donna. So let's start off with some blue. I just flick it upside down. And I will tell you, let's go back to this because do what I say, not what I do. When you pull this out, do not pull it out over what you're working on because that powder is so fine, it could ac accidentally pop out and it may end up not where you want it. Look at it already, okay? That's my Prussian blue. Now let's bring in some brilliant red. Hi, Kelly from Montana. You see how I'm just barely flicking it? And if you are one of those people, France Martin, that doesn't have a lot of patience, then you can poke more holes in it. But to keep moisture out of it, I would keep a push pin in it. So if you do, you're going to need to kind of go where you've got enough space. Look at that. See how it's bleeding and it's really pretty. Now let's add a little yellow. And remember, the yellow has a little bit of orange to it. All right. So we're going to let that do its work. But first, I'm going to spritz it just a little bit more. You can do this as much or as little as you want. And it's going to dry a little lighter. So you, you can let it puddle. Just let it work its magic and be happy. Don't be stressing. Oh, that's pretty. 
okay look at it it's going to be gorgeous when it dries i hope it dries enough because i experimented and i took a paper towel and blotted it it takes a lot of the vibrancy out of it because it's sucking up a lot of the ink so that being said we're just i'm that's why i've got it taped on here too i'm just going to move it out of the way lots of hold for sure yes so i'm moving that out of the way now let me bring in this is a piece of watercolor paper and you use the side that you want i'm going to use the side that's got more of the roughness to it okay and i'm going to bring in my large block okay first let's get our stamp out here i think we're going to do the flower the beautiful day and we're going to do the flower and i haven't had it out yet so you guys are going to get to see me work with this for the first time i've done the butterfly and let's see here which sentiment do i want to use always thinking of you sounds good we'll go with that so let's put our flower on here all right and we want to use our basic black ink And because this is my first time using it, I'm going to grab me a piece of scrap paper over here. Remember how I always recommend that you stamp the first time? Kind of like it seasons it up, okay? Now, this is a bold stamp. I will tell you that. This is a very bold stamp, but that's what I'm looking for. So, I think I want my leaf kind of down here at the bottom I'm gonna leave room for my sentiment so let's go right about here thanks Angie my sister-in-law got me that bracelet hi Sheila all right good enough remember this paper is textured that's why it's not a real smooth smooth imprint but that's perfect for what we're looking for all right so I'm thinking what we're gonna do on here is we're going to do some of our brilliant red away from my paper just a little bit can you see how a little tiny bit i put on there and then i'm also going to do some of my gambrose a little bit tiny bit these will last you forever and then let's do some green which is really our moss green. And then depending on how that comes out, I might want to add a little blue and play around with that. So here's where our aqua painter comes in. Make sure your aqua painter is good and wet. And I'm going to grab myself a paper towel. So I've got something to clean my aqua painter on in between. And right off the bat, look how vibrant that is. And I'm just going to start filling in. And I'm going to do certain areas brighter, and then I'm going to go back. If y'all have any questions, I'm looking up every once in a while, so just let me know otherwise i'm just going to play for a minute hmm. and you can go back over it for more vibrancy remember all right now let's go ahead i'm going to wipe that off just a little bit i'm not Get this good and wet. The more water you put in here, remember, the more water you use, the more you're going to dilute the pigment. So keep that in mind. It's going to bleed outside your lines just a little, but this is a watercolor design that we're working on. 
Hi, Tracy. Can you guys see how vibrant it is? I think that, you know what, this, this formula tonight may be the formula we need for the camera. All along, it was my alt lights that were making it have a hissy fit. It was making me have a hissy fit, too, was having a hissy fit. Pretty simple, huh? All right, now let's kind of mix them together and just do a little more shadowing, just a little bit. See how the possibilities are just absolutely endless, you guys, endless. This girl has gotten out of her comfort zone with this, and you know what? I'm actually kind of having a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of fun. Could you have convinced me of that? I'm not so sure. But that just is what goes to show you. You never know. Try, try. Ooh. It's making me squeal. It is really making me squeal. Okay. I can fiddle and play all night. All right. Let me clean this off, making sure that it's staying wet. Oh, thanks, Ellen. Oh, thanks, Carol. I'm telling you guys, I would love to take the credit, but the brushos are so awesome. All right. Let me see what I want to do here. I'm going to bring my yellow in. It hasn't been mixed up. We're going to do the center and let that set and absorb. And then let's go over here. Now remember, this is our moss green. And if I don't love it, I can add a little blue to it. If I want to get it a little more green. To me, it tends to be a little brownie green. which I'm seeing that right now. It's more of like an, a dark old olive. I'm going to put just a tiny, tiny bit of blue in it. I'm going to make the Michelle color. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. <clears throat> I've also, you guys, I want you to know, up in the top, I've put the direct link to buy the brushos and to buy... The beautiful day stamp set you can click on it and just go straight to my blog or straight to my online store I should say yeah that's a richer green all right tone it down a little simmer down there Bessie simmer down Mm -mm. loving it loving it so now I've told you three different ways I've shown you and all I'm doing here is just I just keep squeezing water through my aqua painter and wiping it that's all I'm doing squeezing and wiping and look at it it's gorgeous I love it let me get a little more water on here love it love it love it
Yep. I'm a fan. Okay. Now you want to let that dry. So let's let's see how difficult our cleanup is. Yep, that's our cleanup. Loving that. Put that away. Now, because I didn't know exactly what colors it was going to come up with, that's why I wanted to wait on the base and everything. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and I think we're going to put our sentiment here and then we're going to put some ribbon down there. You guys be thinking, what, what color layer do we want under this? Think about what will match well with it. We can do a light card base and then a darker. Let's do that. Come up with a light card base and a darker first layer to go under here while I'm getting this ready to. Elizabeth, what are you saying here? Thanks, Sheila. Interesting. C, Y, C was removed. Okay, Elizabeth, you're going to have to explain, explain to me. I'm not understanding what you're asking or saying. So let's bring him back in our basic black. I'm going to line this up with my grid paper. Good impression. Oh, you see why coral was removed. Yeah, you can just kind of do your own thing. Oh, look, 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 look. Perfect. Okay, I'm looking for colors. Oh, coral. Coral. We don't. Calypso coral? Mmm. Calypso coral for. Okay, hold on. Let me grab it. Do we want Calypso Coral for the base or do we want Calypso Coral for the backer? Chime in, peeps. So Saffron and Tranquil Tide. Hmm. What about if we do the... Let's do the Calypso Coral for the layer and the So Saffron for the back, for the base. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get, let me grab my so saffron. Hold on. You know what is so funny, Carol? This Calypso Coral is so not one of my colors. It's just, mm, it just doesn't do anything for me. I barely ever use it. And when you said that, these colors in here, it's like, bam, spot on. Spot on. I love it. Making me think outside the box. So let's grab our trimmer. And we're going to cut this down to three and three quarters. Oh, blew that. Should have been four. Hold on. Four. By five and a quarter. Okay. So we've got that. And then let's go ahead. And let's cut. So saffron. You know what? Let's do it this way. So we're going to go four and a quarter. Score it at five and a half. We can get that out of the way. Let's bring in my bone folder. My bone folder that doesn't have ink on it. France Martin. Just in case you're still out there watching. Nice and clean the way this OCD girl likes it. In case you guys didn't know. France is one of my teammates, and she likes to give me a hard time. Okay, we need some ribbon. 
we need some ribbon and I'm thinking let's see what let me let me get up here and see what I got let's see what to do what to do oh that's pretty all right let's do this What do you think? Do you like? These are your colors, Donna. It's dual purpose. I understand. Who loves the clip so coral? Oh, Barbara, you like it? Really, Carol? You know, isn't that funny? I'm. You guys know me. I'm cherry cobbler, garden green, night and navy, but I am a purple girl. I'm a purple girl. Okay, scrabber, spritzer. Do you guys know? How I like to cheat on my little knots. If you guys saw me with my tongue hanging out, you would just crack up. Okay. Let's go ahead. It's still a little wet, but I think we'll be all right. Let's just go ahead and go for it I would let this dry normally okay let it dry all the way guess what guys somebody's gonna win this card we'll let woo box choose all your comments It'll go through. Let me push that down there. Let me push this down because I made sure I used my fast fuse. See there? Mm -mm -mm. Too stinking cute. Now let's put our ribbon on. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Because I got to tell you, this brush, oh, this is a new, something new for this girl. I've done a lot of crap in my life and a lot of paper crafting but I've never used brush shows before me 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 okay we're going to cut it at an angle there we go just give it a little tug now me 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 will get you entered in the drawing that's for sure and I'm going to go ahead because it's got that paper on it and run it across the middle too. All right. Let's line it up. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm so proud of myself. Thanks, Barbara. Oh, thanks, Myrna. Turned out cute, Kelly. Turned out really cute. Thanks, Carol. Okay, you guys. Now, let's see what's happening over here with our, as it's drying. And it's going to take a long time to dry, but already, let me bring it back. Look at how it's already changing colors. And you know what? The lighting is just not doing it justice. It's gorgeous. It's not showing, these are pinks, and on the camera it looks light, but they're not. They're different shades of pinks. But as this dries, it's going to continue to get lighter. And sometimes what I've noticed is I let it do its thing and then come back and figure out how I want to work with it. I have no preconceived idea before it dries because, believe me, you're not going to get it to come out the same way twice. It's just it's not going to happen. It's the nature of the beast. So there's our watercolor paper. This is also watercolor paper. And on this one, I just used the um, Perusian Blue and the Brilliant Red. And the, even those pinks, see, that's just from the water. That's what came out of that. And this one here has got a little bit. Uh, it has the 
I didn't use any Gambros. These I use these three colors. I use the Perusian blue, the red, and the yellow on this, and that's that's how I got that and got that uh, lemon lime twist color out of there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me turn flip you up and around. Okay, I think that the video tonight went really well. I'm going to wait just a second and see what you guys say, because this could be the way I do it from now on. But on my end, it looked like it, it did really well. I left it on autofocus. It autofocused. It did well. What do you guys think? I know there's a delay, but I'm going to wait just a second and see. I'm going to, I'm going to listen to what I'm, I need to know before we get off here. So while I'm waiting for you guys to respond, remember, in the top, in the links, I'm cleaning off my aqua painter here because that's my OCD. I'm sorry. In the link, in the top, you got a link, or in the description in the top, you got a link to my online video class. You got a link directly to the celebration um, club. You're running out of time. You've got till the 15th to sign up for that. Don't miss out on that. You guys, if you're getting items and you're getting them, the celebration things take advantage get the extra 61 dollars worth of stuff i'm telling you you know that's a good deal i'm keeping it real um if you want to purchase the online video class all that information is there but i've also if you just want the stamp set or if you just want to get the brush shows i've got those links right there for you so let me see what you're saying well no one's responding so i don't know or it's just taking forever. But I'm assuming it went well for you guys, too. It looked good on your end. So we're going to go with that. It's a thumbs up. If you respond, I'll go back and look at everything when I get done here. But I want to send giant hugs to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, sharing and letting all your friends know because that's how I support my business is by growing and growing and growing. If you ever have any questions, if you need any help with anything, I'm a phone call away or an email away. All you got to do is holler at me. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday evening, and I will see you guys right here next Tuesday night when we're crafting until the cows come home.